Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, it was a good day today. You know, we had uh, 14 guys signed. We were really uh, not many surprises, uh, you know, which is a good thing. I mean, everything came in just as we thought they would, and uh, we were pretty much, you know, done with uh, everybody on this side of the country and, uh, you know, by about 7.15 and then waited another 45 minutes for uh, Jace Reuter, and uh, he jumped in, and so it's been, it's been a good day. Larry, what's, what's been the biggest challenge with adapting to the early time period? Uh, you know, I, I just think it sped everything up. I think, uh, you know, there were a lot of, a lot of kids out there that wanted to make decisions and wanted to do things quicker. And so, you know, we were fortunate enough with these kids to be on top of them early. And, and uh, you know, I think it was, you know, I mean, I, I think our plan and the way we went about things worked out pretty good for us. Was the, the education process in terms of relaying the new information to recruits and their families, was that a part of it? Was there a lot of misinformation floating around? Well, I don't know if there was a lot of misinformation. I mean, kids knew that they uh, either they could sign today or they could sign in February. Uh, some of them, you know, out there are choosing to wait until February. Some uh, decided a long time ago where they wanted to go to school, and they just wanted to get it done. And believe it or not, there's a lot of them that are tired of the recruiting process. You know, I mean, we, we you know, some of these guys, we've been recruiting for three or four years, some of them for 18 months, some of them, you know, I mean, they're all for a long period of time. If you would, if you could sit in a guy's house and, and or, you know, hang out with him for a day and see how many times his phone rings or his, uh, you know, how many text messages he gets in a day, you know, you would, uh, you would understand why some of them get so tired of the process. Moving forward, how does your plan change leading up to the February signing day from previous years since you only have a – yeah, we we uh, we know what we have left. We know the guys that we are, you know, uh, still recruiting, and and so we will be able to, you know, I mean, we will we will we'll just pinpoint those guys and be working harder on those guys, and and uh, at the same time evaluating more guys for the 19 class.